Yesterday, I was watching my favorite science YouTube channels. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Where are your fingers? And then I came across this video from Tom Scott, which has 72,939,547 views, like it says in the title. But rather annoyingly, when I watched the video, Tom said this. I'm not going to talk about the exact details of my code here. It is not the important part. But it is, Tom. Why do you think I clicked on your video? I want to know how it's done. So I went on a journey, a mission, an adventure to find the answer to this question. How do I change the title of a YouTube video automatically? The first stop was the computer lab. You there, computer man! How do I change the title of a video to contain the live view count? Well, for that, you might use a web API. What's a web API and how do I get one? Web API is an abstraction layer that exposes HTTP-based RESTful endpoints to facilitate programmatic interaction. Oh, shut up. With no one to help me and every YouTube video on the subject leaving me more confused than when I started, I nearly lost all hope. But then I remembered, I've got a friend who knows how to code. His name's ChatGPT and he basically did everything for me. Look, I'm not going to bore you to death with all the fancy computer language. I'm just going to show you how to upload a video like this on YouTube. And as a bonus, you don't even have to write a single line of code. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be using code from a website called labnull.org, Digital Inspiration. So you copy this code down here, I'll leave a link in the description, and then we're going to go to script.google.com. Okay, so you're going to see this empty page, you're going to click New Project, and it's going to create an empty file for you, paste it in here, and then we've got video ID. So we need to find the video ID of the video that we want to change. What we're going to do is we're going to go into here. It has to be a video that you own. As you can see, I've already tested it out on this one. So I'll uh, I'll do it on this one here. So the video ID, if you look at the URL at the top of the page, this part is the video ID. After V equals, you get the video ID. So copy that in and paste it in here. The next thing you want to do is you want to add a service and this is going to be where you add your API. So you look down here, you see YouTube Data API version 3, click on that and click add. Next we're going to go to console.cloud.google.com. Here we're going to create a new project, so it says select a project up here. There's no project, so we've got to create a new project. Now you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to call it test. Hit create, and then you've got this new project creating up here. Then at the top you're going to search for YouTube data API. This is the same API that we just added to our script and then we're going to click enable. So once it's enabled it's going to ask you to create some credentials. So it's going to ask you some questions. We want user data then we want to click next. App name, name it whatever you want. Support email, use your own email and then down here you've got developer contact information. You can use your own email again. Save and continue. Next it's going to ask what scopes you want. Click add or remove scopes. Go to the third page. These three here. YouTube.read only. YouTube and YouTube.force SSL. Tick those and then click update. You should see them appear in here. And then click save and continue. Next it's going to ask us for the application type. We want web application. Name it whatever you want. And then it's going to ask for authorized redirect URIs. We want to add one. It's called HTTPS colon slash slash script.google.com slash OAuth callback. That is in the description as well. You can just copy paste that. Hit create and it's going to create some credentials. Then you want to hit download just to save these credentials. Don't share these credentials with anyone by the way. Finally we can hit done and go back to your app script and hit run. Next it's going to ask you to review some permissions. Just click on your account, click advanced and then click go to untitled project. It says it's unsafe but it's not. And then click allow. This is going to allow the permissions for your project to change the titles of your YouTube videos. It should say execution completed and then you can go back to your YouTube video and hit refresh and you should see that the title has updated to display the number of views and the number of comments. So you didn't actually have to write any code, you just have to copy and paste this code, but if you want to, you can change these variables, you can change the title, play around with it, have fun with it, let me know how it goes in the comments, click on this video if you want to see more, and piss off.